Hiya, welcome to the third and final part of my Lilith trilogy. Let's start with the remaining water sign to be looked at, Cancer. So when Lilith is in Cancer, these people dare to care. Diana, Princess of Wales, had this placement and when Lilith rebels and runs away in this cardinal watery energy, she may well turn back to those from her past who betrayed her or she may revert to bad habits this can cause some people to revisit exes when their current relationship isn't going well it can lead them to return home or to safer places when feeling trapped and it can make them bring up months or even years old wrongs when reacting to their oppressors in many great ways, Lilith causes the individual to readily drop everything and forego anything for the sake of the family, for the sake of the home, or for the sake of preserving memories. Lilith here allows you to put your intuition or gut feeling first and so help protect yourself from dangerous people and things. Lilith uses this energy to persuade the individual to put their cares first. If the individual is in a strong or powerful position, this placement can make them selfish or appear to be selfish. It can make them place the emotional above all other matters. It can cause them to refuse to get a handle on their moods, contesting that their feelings must be heard. Lilith in Cancer is like, if you don't want to do your dishes, I might have to have a breakdown and outline all the reasons why I feel you should. And I'm gonna bring up all the other stuff you haven't been doing. And I'm gonna make you feel as guilty as possible for not doing your bit in this give and take bond of ours. Lilith in Leo, like the other two fire signs, Aries and Sagittarius, which we already covered, has the potential to express her rebellion more readily in a more potentially burning and almost always in a passionate way. Barack Obama has this placement. So Lilith here wants what she wants. And if you refuse her, she's only gonna want harder. These people refuse to be outshone. They refuse to be made to feel inferior. When abused or cornered, the Lilith in Leo person likely will claw back in righteous ways, in brave ways, and with lots of dignity. One interesting kind of positive way this placement plays out is that the individual may shine a light and even applaud their oppressor or someone, something they've been rebelling against. Even then in animosity, a strong Lilith in Leo would rather be seen loving and dignified in public than loveless and harsh. Perhaps less desirably, Lilith in Leo may make the individual too run away with their performance and bravado, focusing little on the facts or the intellect of matters and being absorbed in their ego and image. In relationships that aren't really working, they may readily rebel by flirting attention-seeking and neglecting even their children and their projects for a more fun experience. This is generally though a good Lilith placement, I feel, where the individual is proud enough to remember themselves when people or situations become oppressive. With Lilith in Leo, it's like, if you aren't gonna do those dishes, then let me take over. Let us show you how it's done and preferably in front of everyone else. I might even leave you for someone more capable and more attentive. For those with Lilith in Virgo, congratulations. This is final, the final of the three signs within which uh, I believe Lilith energy is most readily explosive. Unlike the other two signs of this top three, which were Sagittarius and Aquarius, uh, both Yang signs, Virgo is a Yin sign. Virgo is also the opposite of Pisces, which in part two, I suggest it takes a solid fourth place in my little ranking. Virgo takes third place because when Lilith is in this sign, she simply has less patience than when she's in Pisces. Also, 
Unlike the fellow Earth signs Capricorn and Taurus, Lilith in Virgo people are in a mutable and therefore more unpredictable energy. Julian Assange has this placement. In Virgo, Lilith will quickly refuse to conform if her services go unrecognized. This can be dangerous because it's likely the Lilith and Virgo person is providing something real or practical or critical. When vexed, this Lilith will throw off her pinny and cross her arms. If pushed even further, she's gonna unleash a whirlwind of piercing criticisms and complaints. As if the sun suddenly became disgruntled and refused to shine down on earth. Lilith in Virgo could definitely make her absence known, demonstrating just how sour things can turn without her hand. Lilith here will cause the individual possibly to react and rebel readily when things aren't their version of perfect. However, similar to Pisces, there will be an initial period of quiet and patience. Different to Pisces though, Lilith in Virgo is meticulously filing away all the wrongs done to her, ready to reveal to you one by one in excruciating detail, succumbing sometimes to a mercurial breakdown wherein they can't seem to stop and wherein nothing can untwist their knickers anymore. But Virgo is the maiden archetype, it's the virgin archetype, the hermit archetype. And one good thing I think about this placement is that it offers a runaway ability to steer clear of anyone or anything that seems to take her for granted. She is well aware of her independent powers and while seemingly a pushover at first, ultimately she will never tolerate underappreciation. With Lilith in Virgo, it's like, if you don't wanna do your dishes, I'm gonna ask you to. I'm gonna write passive aggressive post-its asking you to. <laughs> I'm gonna slam the door when I leave this kitchen. I'm gonna nag you daily in both direct and indirect ways. And if none of that works, because I'm a perfectionist, I'm gonna try every single way. I'm just gonna pack my bags and run away. And believe me, you do not want me to explain to you why I have run away. Lilith in lovely Libra then, our final placement for this Lil Lilith trilogy. A queen uninterested in watching her tongue when her serious decisions and intellectual values ultimately matter more than some peasants. This is Lilith in Cardinal Air. Winston Churchill had this placement. In this aesthetic, intelligent air sign, Lilith will fire up the debating engines when she's not getting her way. You can count on her silver tongue to start licking at whoever or whatever threatens the balance. She refuses to be cordial because she doesn't have to be. She rebels by counting on her beauty, her persuasive writing skills, her impressive negotiation tactics and her sense of rationality and also her sense and ability to convene other powerful, beautiful people. The Lilith in Libra person may be vocal about being abused or caged. Yes, they can say and communicate it, yet they express it in a very reasonable way, often either getting what she wants or getting the other person to meet her halfway. If a romantic relationship isn't working out, Lilith in Libra can be beneficial here for the person because this person will simply venture out to strike a balance in their life. They will put more energy into their friendships and their formal and work responsibilities. They will even take up new hobbies or deliberately make appointments with others just to get away. While Lilith helps the person run away in this way, Lilith sometimes may simply be piling more types of superficiality onto the person's life. Still, I do believe this placement allows someone to be more actively um, communicative about their dissatisfaction. While sweet talking, Lilith still won't take shiz for too long. A little bit like Virgo, Libra coming after Virgo. Libra's hand is always firmly wrapped around the judgment hammer, especially when Lilith has her hand on Libra's hand. Still, 
I don't think that her walk away will be messy or violent. More like a courteous but sensible kind of bowing out. This is grace we're talking about with Libra. With Lilith in Libra, it's like, if you don't want to do the dishes, I'll do them this time. But would you mind doing them next time? Because that's fair. And what has to happen if we want this relationship to work? I love you. Okay, that's the end of this Lil Lilith series. Hope you enjoyed. Hope it was somewhat informative. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, darlings.